Hello and welcome back to another AIC Productions video. Today I wanted to do a follow up on my work computer. I had mentioned a couple things about it that uh, um, some people have disagreed on and so I just wanted to cover those uh, here real quick. So first and foremost, I'm getting close. Oh, it's winding down now that I have the camera on. But you could hear the fan going on this computer. I just have a couple of things open. I have uh, some uh, some YouTube tabs open. You know, nothing nothing crazy. I'm not even doing any kind of benchmarking. Unfortunately, like I said, it's a work computer, so I'm not going to uh, have too much uh, going on here. But um, it is just really loud uh, when the fans are going. And the fans go pretty much non-stop on this system so it, it's ramped back down now I'm going to try to get it to ramp back up here there we go and that's just with a YouTube video let me go ahead and put it to sleep hear that difference now this whole time this is my x250 I have the fuzzy dice of death or fuzzy donut of death going and this is how loud it is that's it hear how quiet that is this is what I expect from a workstation class laptop and if they have to have the jet engine going and it's not that much faster than this computer it really isn't this is an 8th gen core i5 this is a 5th gen core i5 and yeah there is a performance difference but it's not really that noticeable it really isn't so the second thing i wanted to address is the keyboard this I, i've had a, a little over a week since my last video uh, i recorded my last video to, to spend some more time with this keyboard and if I'm really careful about pushing and holding the shift key, it solves a lot of my problems, but it has definitely slowed down my typing. It still doesn't forgive the just the overall feel of the keyboard. I just I don't like it. And maybe I'm crazy and that's a personal preference. The keyboard, let me go ahead and close out for mark here real quick. The keyboard on the Lenovo. It's just so much more pleasant to to type on, and this laptop, if it was a six, seven, eight hundred dollar laptop, wouldn't have a problem. It's like an eighteen hundred dollar laptop. It's not, it's not cheap. <laughs> I've paid a lot less for cars. A car I drive every single day, I paid less for than what this laptop would cost me if I had to buy it new. And that's where my problem comes in. It's not necessarily a terrible keyboard. It's just not a good keyboard. And here, I'll show you this over here. This laptop over here is my IdeaPad 120S. So the keyboard on this, this is a $120 laptop, $120. And this keyboard is more satisfying. The keycaps feel better. The press of this feels better than a laptop that costs more than 10 times as much, 12, 13 times as much this laptop costs than this laptop. And this one has a better feeling, better typing experience. So I've, I've found a solution and that is this. <laughs> this is a, I have two of these. Um, this one happens to be Bluetooth powered. It's a Bluetooth powered Lenovo ThinkPad keyboard. So you can add a ThinkPad keyboard to whatever computer you want. And being Bluetooth, I can hook it up to my uh, Dell here and use it instead of using the keyboard on the laptop. And that will make my life so much more pleasant because this has the same feel, almost, they're close, as the X2. This is more like a because they, they change the keyboard with each model. This is more like a 
um, like a 470 keyboard versus the uh, 250. I actually prefer this one a little bit more than this one, but this one's still preferable to this one. It just is an unpleasant typing experience, and I spend a lot of my dot, a lot of my day, excuse me, typing. So touchpad, still great. Love the touchpad. Great touchpad. Definitely um, a plus. And the Lenovo touchpad still sucks. So. I guess you'd have to take what you get, but since I nine times out of ten I'm using an ex an external mouse anyways, not that big a deal. I'd much rather have a better keyboard. So this will be finding its place in my work bag with this and being replaced, and using this to type in an external mouse. So that was that's my solution and one I recommend. I'll throw a link to these in the description down below. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.